Hi everyone, welcome to the 3D video series. I'm Sepide, a 3D GIS solution specialist at ISRI Canada. In the first video of this series, we'll review the benefit and workflow for converting a 2D polyline to a 3D model using ArcGIS Pro. Also, you will see the steps for publishing your 3D model to a portal. So it can be hosted in other applications, such as 360 virtual reality. The workflow highlighted in this video is an actual use case for cities water utility departments. Maintaining information about the install or replace pipeline and the associated trench is a critical workflow for construction and utility companies. You can use ArcGIS Pro to support the 3D visualization of your pipeline within its trench. In the upcoming demo, I'll first show you how to convert a 2D pipeline to a 3D feature class using the Buffer 3D tool. Second, you will see how to publish your 3D pipeline so it can be viewed into a web scene. Third, I'll show you how to create a 360 virtual reality application for sharing your content with members of your organization and collaborating on your project with other stakeholders. Let's start the first part of our demo by showcasing how you can convert a 2D pipeline to a 3D feature class using the Buffer 3D tool. In this local scene, I have a 2D utility pipeline downloaded from the City of Toronto Open Data site and the integrated mesh provided by our partner VGIS representing a trench. To drop the 2D layers on the proper elevation surface, I drag this 2D pipeline under the 3D layer section and adjust its elevation on relative to the ground. I'll use the slice tool in the exploratory analysis tool set to visualize this pipeline on the ground. In the property of the slice tool, I need to disable the pipeline from being affected by the slice tool. Then I'll use the buffer 3D tool to convert this 2D pipeline to 3D. This tool needs a 3D analyst extension. I select my pipeline for the input and create a 0.4 meters buffer around it. To appear this layer on the map display, first, I'll uncheck it from the property of the slice tool and then adjust its elevation to relative to the ground. After this step, we can move on to the second part of our demo, which is sharing our 3D pipeline with ArcGIS Online. You can use the layer 3D to feature class tool to convert this layer to a 3D multi-patch feature class that can be published into a portal. This tool needs a 3D analyst extension too. The only tip you need to know when working with this tool is to select an object ID field for the grouping field parameter. This way, each feature has its own ID. Now, by right-clicking on this new 3D layer, I can publish it into ArcGIS Online as a web layer. I have already shared this layer with ArcGIS Online, so let's visualize it within the web scene. To enhance this web scene and make the location of the trench and pipeline more apparent, I use the OpenStreetMap 3D Buildings layer, available via Living Atlas. This layer has been provided for us by ISRI, which contains the 3D building for all the Canadian cities. You can symbolize this layer based on building type and adjust its elevation. In addition, you can set up its transparency so you can use it as a 3D base map layer. Now let's move on to the last part of our demo, where I'll show you how you can embed this web scene into a 360 virtual reality application. 
to create practical 360 VR experiences, you need to make a few viewer slides. These slides will be converted to viewpoints in the 360 VR app. Let's look at the 360 VR app I've already made from these slides. Here, all the field crew and project leaders can visualize the location of the trench and the replaced or installed pipeline in the city. Also, utility companies and municipalities can maintain this special information in their database. 